myself dr harpreet kaur from khalsa college of law amritsar going to deliver a lecture on the topic titled as preamble preamble term indicates that um, it means that document which is the opening of a constitution or it is called as a introductory to the constitution preamble shows objectives of the constitution that what kind of objectives legislative assembly members want to wanted to achieve this preamble if there is any kind of ambiguity as far as provisions of the constitution is concerned we can take the help of preamble preamble is a index of the constitution if we talk about the preamble's opening lines that is a we the people of india it is written in capital letters what does it mean it shows that the real power lies with the people of india they give their mandate at the time of election and the government who got the support of people they come in power it is in bold letters what it shows that the real power lies with the people of india if we go to next lines of the preamble we will come to know that is the salient features of the democracy that is indian democracy that is sovereign socialist secular democratic and republic sovereign means that country which is not under the control of any outer authority which is independent in itself which can cater the needs of their public or their citizens second salient feature is socialist socialist means in economic sector there would be opportunity of all the people that they would get chance in job opportunities or economic sector without any discrimination on the basis of which are either it is in 15 section or in 16 section third category is secular secular term means that the state is atheist state does not have any relation uh, uh, religion rather it respect all the religions which are existing in the society next category is that is democratic democratic means the government of by the people of the people for the people next is republic that the country's head is a elected person and uh, which shows that uh, that country has their own uh, constitution their legal system and they are governed by that system on 26 january every year we celebrate republic day which shows on that day we have adopted and enforced our uh, constitution if we talk about the rest of the content of uh, preamble first we talk about justice justice means which got support of 99.9 people that is justice which get support of uh, public as well as uh if i say that uh, maintaining balance between two pole is called as a justice and uh, uh, in preamble three kinds of uh, justice are indicated that is social economic and political as far as social justice is concerned it deals with article 15 that show that uh, describe that uh, prohibition of uh, general discrimination if i talk about the economic justice economic justice means in the field of economic sector all people will get equal opportunities i without discrimination on any ground and uh, political justice means that all the people are equal in the eye of law and they have a right to vote as well as they have a right to contest election that is the definition of justice as per constitution next is liberty liberty of thought expression and belief it deals with article 19 and it deals with article 25 and 
आर्टिकल 19 सेज दैट ऑल पीपल हैव अ राइट टू स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन बट दिस राइट इज नॉट एब्सोल्यूट इन इट सेल्फ इट कैरीज सर्टेन काइंड ऑफ रेस्ट्रिक्शन वाइल इंजॉइंग बाय दीज वाइल इंजॉइंग दीज राइट्स वी आर अबाइड बाय सर्टन रेस्ट्रिक्शंस और कंडीशंस on the other side article 25 or 20 25 to 28 deals with freedom of religion which says that all the people who are citizen of country they have a right to adopt any religion and uh, profess practice and propagate any religion i want to highlight this point over here that secularism and freedom of religion have a relationship uh, between two first our country is atheist which does not believe in any religion it is a secular country on the other side in the diversity all people have a right to enjoy any kind of uh, religious ideologies which they are in which they are interested next is equality of status and opportunity equality of status and opportunity deals with article 14 to 18 Fourteen is a general term which de- which says that all the citizen are equal in the eye of law, either from peon to president. Be- only the difference is that privilege conferred will be distinguished on the basis of certain special qualifications. Fifteen article deals with prohibition of a general discrimination or social discrimination. As far as Article Sixteen is concerned. it deals with specific kind of discrimination that is in economic sector that deals with job opportunities article 17 only prohibits civil uh, that provides civil rights to all the people and uh, those people who are discriminated on the ground of uh, community or caste or uh, uh, religion that would be prohibition under the constitution next is article 18 that is prohibition of titles except academic or military uh, next point is next content of the preamble is fraternity fraternity means that all the citizen of country have a feeling of a brotherhood when they meet at a national or international platform and at the time of emergency all the people of india should be ready to give their services towards their country and they should feel that they are brethren of same motherland last but not the least on 20th november 26 november 1949 we have adopted the constitution and on 26 january 1950 we have adopt and forced the constitution on that very day we got legal system which give three pillars of a state three pillars of or three organs of government that is a legislature executive and judiciary thank you